Hello everyone, this is Shadow Mario 41 and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last video, we rescued some monkeys and we beat this big bad monkey to get a Gale Boomerang. A boomerang somehow with the power of wind. Don't really question it. That's just what it does. So yeah, we might be wondering how to get back. I'm sure, certainly wondering how to get back. But it looks like we have to go this way. It looks like we can go this way now that we have the power of wind at our side. Yeah, see we can now turn the propeller which will turn that little bridge thing, which will allow us to cross. And hey, look at that, there's a monkey over here. Oh, what a convenient location for a captured monkey because we were right here. So I'm <laughs> just gonna hit him with the boomerang, knock him down, and he's all like, yay, I'm saved, thank you. And he's gonna, why can't I do that? What the hell? No, no, there shouldn't be anything a monkey can do that Sir Eric can't. Ah, there are still some monkeys around. Yes, Min, very well. <laughs> very good observation. So yeah, if you couldn't figure it out, the mission uh, for the rest of the temple is to just free the rest of the monkeys. And by freeing all of the monkeys, well, that's how we'll be able to beat the temple. Look at all these bats. I got suckered in here with the Gale Boomerang. The Gale Boomerang, uh, well, I don't know. It's not that great for taking out enemies. It certainly is for stunning them or luring them in. Uh, kind of like the original boomerang is anyway in other Zelda games, but Anyway, now that we have the power of wind, like I said, we can now access many more areas. Can we make this jump? No <laughs> I would have really liked to, but can't. Yeah. Okay, so we gotta go around and roll into the stairs. Great. I thought that was taken out of this damn game. Maybe I rolled into the wall. Whatever. But I was on the stairs. Alright, so we're gonna go up here. And remember this rock we blew up? Remember this room? With those things in the floor? Yeah, remember I said we needed something to take care of them? Well, it's the Gale Boomerang, because those guys think they're all smart hiding in the floor. I think not. Just blow up all the floor tiles. Well, not blow them up, but... Well, blow them up in the air. Not make them explode. That would be pretty cool, too. I, I wonder if you can do that, but probably not. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> These guys are little and no problem right now. They're pretty scary looking, though. I mean... Probably the scariest enemy we've encountered so far. If, unless you want to count those giant spiders, those are pretty scary. But imagine seeing like a giant ass worm thing hiding in the floor. I'd be pretty freaked out. And that takes care of that. Alright, so now that we have also have the Gale Boomerang, we can access this chest, which has a piece of heart. If you're wondering why we couldn't access this before, uh, the Gale Boomerang actually extinguishes torches. And we couldn't do that before, or obviously extinguishes any sort of fire. Uh, we didn't have that power previously available to us, so now that we do, we can use the Gale Boomerang to extinguish torches, lower the stairs, and by lowering the stairs we get to the chest. Isn't it great how science works? Alright, so we're going to jump across. No, we want to jump down, thank you. Alright, roll, roll. I'm just, just going to uh, ignore these stupid plants. i are seeing a lot of those stupid plants, so those things show up a lot. They're, they're a little annoying, but whatever. Anyway, now we have more monkeys. We can use more monkeys to swing across, even though I don't think we need them. But we do need the stuff up here. There's, if you notice, there's a chest hit just kind of floating in the air up there, attached to a string. Not sure how that chest got attached to a string in the air, but whatever. Inside, you can probably guess what it is by the music. It's a compass! Yes, I got the compass. I promise I won't sing about the compass anytime. Unfortunately, the compass does not have a new feature that beeps whenever you enter a room with a treasure. But they'll show you where the treasures are, which is nice. And hey, looks like there's one right in this room. In order to get it, extinguish one of the torches with the Gale Boomerang, and the stairs will lower. Right behind that rock. A rock that needs bombing. Bomb? <laughs> These little bug things can't touch me now. Can't touch this. Because... They're pathetic. And I have learned. I have mastered the ways of the shield. I have mastered the ways of not getting hit by pathetic enemies. And I have mastered the ways of opening treasure chests to get... Oh, 20 rupees. That's very nice. Very nice, indeed. I believe the maximum for the first wallet upgrade is 300. So, yeah. We still have a ways to go. But, uh, it's nice that we can hold quite a few more rupees. So, yeah. We've got to relight that torch now with the lantern. Because there's really no need to get back to that open chest. But before we go forward, it looks like there's a little chest in the back there. So I'm, I guess I missed it when we came in here. So I'm going to go backtrack and find that. If I can. Hopefully I can. We'll see. Oh, vine climbing. It's so long and painful. Look at this. Look at Come on, Link. Let's go. No, Sir Eric. Let's go. 
Shimmy those vines. All right, so the chest appears to be up here somewhere. Oh, there it is, right in the background. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it did say open, right? All right, good. Ten rupees. Totally worth it. Thing that I said we needed something else for. Usually when I say that, it's going to be like, we need another item to do this. Most likely it's the item we get in the dungeon. But anyway, this is the item we need to do this Z thing over here. Uh, you have to target these propellers in a Z pattern, hence the shape on the floor. But when you do this, gate will open up and it will reveal a large awesome looking chest which you can probably guess what's in it if you've played a 3d zelda game before what's always in the big elaborate chest well the key to open the big elaborate lock it's the big key which looks pretty awesome in this game none of this golden crap with blue eyes screw that jump 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 again excellent we will now make our way into this area which we also couldn't access before because the stupid bridge just turned for no apparent reason yeah, see, it did that, but it did it the other way. So now that we have the monkey rescued, he's going to be all like, come this way, come this way, you can actually go this way now. I'll be like, okay, I can go this way. And yeah, here, actually, yeah, we did get that way before. Here is where we ran into trouble, because we got that chest. I think that chest had a key in it or something. We couldn't turn this bridge, but now we can, because we have the Gale Boomerang. And we have some monkeys to rescue. See on our uh, map now, it actually shows the location of captured monkeys by our little red dot. So we have to head out for all the red dots. Oh, enemies. These things are actually, you know, not a joke, these purple ones. They're actually somewhat formidable, but they still die pretty quickly. I mean, like, yeah, they're not a total joke, but there are, there are, oh, that's also the blue ones. Those might have still been the blue ones. There are purple ones that we'll encounter later in the game that aren't a total joke. They actually, like, take a few hits before they go down. But those blue ones or whatever those were, those were pretty jokes. Pretty much a joke. Up here, ah, uh, spiders. Imagine walking into the room, like looking up in the air and seeing this. I think I'd be scared. I'd be totally scared. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I have to finish off that spider. In the face. Die, spider. Yeah. In the first. Right, so that takes care of that. Uh, now down here is uh, another monkey, but of course we can't just go down here because the monkey is hidden in the darkness. Look at that. That is a freaking huge. Yeah, the monkey's up on that stump thing. Oh, there's an enemy. I wonder if we can kill it. No, 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 no. Don't climb. Okay. No climb. Stop doing that. Please. My god. Alright, let's explore. Alright, yeah, there's a bomb guy. Let's see if we can kill that enemy. Right, come on. Where are you? There you are. Throw! Alright. Mmm, that's delicious. This bomb is delicious. Explosions. Oh, I'm dead. That sucks. Right, what did he drop? Nothing? Ooh! 20 rupees! Alright! Awesome! Alright, now we gotta get out of here and go in the proper hole so we can rescue that monkey. If I can find my way out of here. Uh, I'm a little, a little disoriented at this point. Okay, seriously. Oh, that's, that's it right there. Okay. Okay, did we make it? Did we finally make it? Yes! We finally found that. Legit took like a minute. Like, I don't even know if I'm gonna keep all that footage because that was like a minute of just wandering around. Look at my lamp oil right now. Look at how low it is. That's this is severely a problem. Like, if I lose my lantern oil, that would be terrible for this dungeon. I don't plan on it, but I shouldn't. But let's we'll see. And I think, yeah, we have to unfortunately stand on the spider web to burn it. Uh, so we can't like burn it and then, you know, look down there and be like, is this the one I want to fall through? And of course, this is not the one I wanted to fall through because it just leads back to the darkness again. So we're just going to climb up because climbing up is what Sir Eric does very slowly, but he still climbs. I mean, would you be able to climb a vine wall? I don't know. You know, video game characters do things a lot that I think you guys take for granted, like climbing up vines. You think if you, if you were faced with an actual vine wall, could you climb up it? No. If there was a pit of lava, could you jump over it? No, no, never mind if there was like a fireball going up and down. Forget that. So, I think you got to give video game characters more credit than they deserve. Or than they already have. They definitely deserve a lot of credit. Ah, that guy was kind of a waste of time, so we're going to go right up here and continue onward after I get up these stupid vines, which I've had to climb like four times already. Three times, however many times it was. It was two times too many. That's all I have to say. 
Alright, get out of there, and please let's get out of this room, because I hate this room. <laughs> we'll roll into the door. A solid idea. Okay. Capital idea, Sir Eric. Capital. Alright, so now we gotta go onto the other side, uh, which requires a key. But oh, we have a key, do we? No, we don't. We don't have a key. I thought I had a key. Now I don't have a key. Damn it. Alright, so I need to go out a key. I really thought I had a key, wow. Okay, that was kind of fail. Uh, which way do we have to go? I think this way. I think the other way leads out. So I'm gonna check this direction. I don't think there's anything in these pots or whatever. I'm just gonna proceed through this door. Oh yeah, we definitely haven't been here yet. See that purple? Oh, first monkeys. Monkeys jumping up and down. So this monkey is gonna join the happy jumping merry monkeys over there. Just kind of jumping up and down on their little tree thing. So Min is gonna be like, we need the help of the monkeys. No shit. So, if you couldn't figure it out, it's kind of like, oh, what is it like? It's like something from uh, Ocarina of Time, I think. I think it's the Water Temple, I'm not positive. Where in the room before the boss, you see like all of whatever they are on uh, platforms, you know, and you have to get them all. Yeah, it's the same idea. So we have to get all the monkeys on all the platforms before we can uh, effectively get out of this dungeon, fight the boss, and then get I'm gonna take all these stupid spiders. If I can hit them. Hey. Stop doing that. My targeting's not even hit. Back up. Alright, yeah. I need to back up a little bit. Yeah, look at that spider. Dead. There's another one right over there. Dead. Dead eye. Nice. Another thing. Hitting spiders with slingshots. You think you can do that? Huh? I think if you if there was a spider like 20 feet away, could you hit it with a slingshot and one pellet? Oh, I'll give you 30 pellets. Could you hit it then? I don't think I could. Another thing you have to be thankful for that Sir Eric can do and I cannot is use a slingshot. Alright. Anyway. Uh, I don't think there's anything out. So we're just going to continue up the vines. I always thought that that one platform had like... Uh, no more spiders. I always thought that one platform had like a little something extra on it. Because uh, it looks like it could, but I guess it's just supposed to be like a broken stairway. As in there was supposed to be stairs to get up here, but over time it kind of rotted and broken apart. Which is cool. I like that in a video game. But it is a little misleading in this particular case. But whatever. I'm just gonna... Just, ooh! Ouch! Right in the groin. I'm gonna just destroy that guy. Alright, so in here we have yet another captured monkey. But in order to get it, we have to do a few Gale Boomerang puzzles after taking out this stupid plant. These plants are... Ow. <laughs> these plants are kind of pathetic, but still manage to hit me. Uh, you can hit the- by the way, you can hit these plants like all you want. They won't die until you actually detach them, so make sure you do it. Alright. Let's see what we have here. We have a bomb over there. And we have something that needs to be fed a bomb over there. So, let's put two and two together and use the boomerang. Go bomb! Oh no, I don't want it. Don't give it to me! What the- throw it over there! Hey! <laughs> it actually didn't blow up in my face. I expected it to. Alright, so that's kind of what you gotta do. I thought you had to target the guy, target the bomb, and target the guy. Apparently not, whatever. And we need to kill him so we can jump over there and grab something from the chest. A small key! Hey, now we have a key. That's awesome. It'll open only in this area. I wonder if anyone's ever, ever tried to, like, use a small key in another dungeon and be like, What the hell? Why is this not working? And they'll be like, uh, dude, it's only in this area. And I'd be like, ah, oh. ah, oh, piss. Target that. And now is where we have to directly target the rock, because we can't throw a bomb that high. So yeah, the bomb will sail into the rock, completely explode, and now we have the Zelda jingle and a new path. So up these vines. Let's see what's up here. Any enemies? Probably. Uh, yeah, plants. And a thing. That's <laughs> a guy. I'm trying to kill us, yeah. So see, we can we can whack these guys all around, but they won't die until you have to, you have to use the Gale Boomerang to catch them. You can also use the Slingshot and aim at their uh, stems, but the slingshot requires ammo, the Gale Boomerang does not, and it's also much quicker. So, I'll just take them out like that. Oh, we need another bomb. <laughs> oh, this game and its requirements. So yeah, I don't think we could directly target that rock, but whatever, I'll just take the bomb and throw it. Not too hard. That should be a good spot. So let's just wait for it to blow up. Excellent. Zelda Jingle again? Yes! I called it Zelda Jingle. I know when the game's gonna do that. <laughs> this game does that a lot. As, as does every Zelda game, really, but whatever. It's kind of a trademark, so I like it at this point. 
Okay, back in here. Uh, we need, I think, one more monkey. And now that we have the small key, we can rescue that one last lone monkey after dropping down from, like, 10 feet and not taking any damage. I think you could drop down from 10 feet without breaking any legs. Uh, Alright, so we gotta do some creative uh, bridge turning here in order to get back. Unfortunately, because the sides have fences on them, we can't jump across or anything like that. Not like that monkey could do. Why the hell could he do it? And I could I don't care if it's because he's a monkey, and I'm not. I want to be a monkey, damn it. I want to be a monkey. Huh. Damn. <laughs> I've come to the harsh realization that I am, in fact, not a monkey. Anyway. <laughs> that conversation was weird. Let's just spin this propeller and go the wrong way. Let's spin this propeller and go this way. Yeah, this is the locked door that we want. And we're going to open that door and proceed inside. Yeah, see, look at the red dot. That's the final monkey. There's also a chest in here. That's pretty cool. Oh, more of these floor monsters. These guys might as well be called floor masters because they're in the floor and they're masters of being big douches. Look at that guy. He's still alive. Hell. They're pretty creepy looking, though. I, I do have to say, Twilight Princess, I mean, it's arguably the darkest of the game, but you might say, like, Majora's Mask is darker, which I can understand. But in terms of having, like, the freakiest enemies, like, this game, like, enemies that would legitimately scare you if you encountered them. This game, I think, tops the rest. And we walk into this little cave. We find giant spiders. Just kind of chilling, whatever. You know, just life is a giant spider. There we go. So if we hack at it kind of randomly, it'll eventually drop its guard. I think spiders are the first enemies that actually, like, try to block in this game. There are a few enemies that do. Not very many, but a few of them. Uh, actually, more of the, like, more advanced enemies will try to, will adamantly block and try to, you know, counterattack and stuff. But we don't have to worry about that yet. Which, this is still the forest temple. This is still easy stuff. This is still climbing vines. Yeah, all that stuff. Alright, so let's grab that. Oh, there it is. Uh, I believe we just have to hit both. Nope, not with that. Let the go. Boomerang, hit both propellers, and it should be alright. Target that one a bazillion times to make sure. No particular order, just get both of them at the same time, and that monkey will jump away and run away and do all that crazy stuff. Oh, plant! Hello, plant! Prepare to meet your demise! Oh, crap. <laughs> Die, plant! That was way more complicated than it needs to be. Jumping across, there's a chest. Fine. Yes, if my eyes do not deceive me, and they do not. Inside we have 20 rupees. Isn't that worth it? Actually, that was kind of worth it. That was an easy one to get. Um, I think I might have missed one rupee chest, but I'm not going to really worry about it. Uh, I'm really only going to get the chests that are very important. And if I run across others, or they're not that hard to get. But anyway, this is Shadow Mario 41. This is Let's Play Twilight Princess, and I will see you guys next time. Ciao.